G'day, welcome back to the 40 channel. Righto, so in true form of this build, we're still attempting to do everything in the shed. So the whole idea of this build, as you guys know, is that we want to be able to try to do everything in your own shed, your own workshop, or your own homes. So, electroplating. Now this is something I experimented with way back on the 40 build, where I actually made my own little concoction up, and it worked mm, okay, just for a little bit of fun. So, I didn't actually post any of those videos up because it was pretty agricultural. We'll go 50-50, water, hydrochloric acid. So we need some uh, white vinegar. We'll get some salt, a power adapter, 12 volt, one amp. All right, we're gonna uh, see if we can zinc plate this part. So straight away, our part is bubbling. Smells gross. Smells <laughs> gross. <laughs> I think we finally got it. So I'm super happy with that. So that's my first bit of zinc plating for the 40 series. And it was, uh, yeah, it wasn't amazing, but it worked. So it zinc plated some bits and pieces. They came up pretty dull, polished them up, and they came up quite nicely. But I thought with this one, I thought I'll send some bits and pieces away, get them all zinc plated, get them all gold plated, and happy days. I thought, hang on a second, that's not what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to achieve the entire build in shop, in your own house, with what you can purchase and what you've got sitting around. Now, I was almost gonna put all the nuts and bolts back on here just the way they were, without doing anything about them, but I couldn't resist in jumping online and getting one of these kits. So, the kit I've got here is the Jane Plating Kit. Very comprehensive. I know nothing about this stuff. Now, I'm certainly not endorsed by these guys at all. I just jumped online, had a look around, found these guys, and bought their kit. And they probably don't want to put their name to me because this is something I've never done before. So much so that they even tell you in one of their instructions right here on this piece of paper. Uh, please note, when using following instructions and operating the power supply for the Jane planning process, do not gather information from YouTube. <laughs> hmm. Continue on. Most importantly, don't watch YouTube videos describing how to use this power unit. Okay. Righto. So, I guess reading that, that brings an end to this video. There's a number of different kits out there. Now, I bought this one for two reasons. One, well, it's right here in Australia. And two, full technical support. I've already rang these guys, had a really quick chat with them, just trying to decide whether or not I'd buy this kit or not, and whether it was for me, and whether this was the way I wanted to go. Um, very helpful, uh, and that was a, a big plus for me, so I jumped on and bought it. Now, I'm not gonna go through this whole book and how to set it all up, because to be honest, I don't really know I'm just gonna follow all the instructions in this book, put it all together, and hopefully we have some success. Anyway, having said that, let's start uh, mixing chemicals and um, see what we can achieve. One thing it does point out is that we must use demineralized or distilled water. So that way it's all the impurities out of it. Now the only other thing that I've done is I've gone up to Andy Grace's fish tank and I've stolen her heater out of the fish tank because I think it'll be better used here than in her room. Don't.
I've got everything set up. I've got the uh, the I've got the chrome leg dip sitting out in the sun because it needs to be warm as well. I've had this going the whole time with the agitator and Andy Grace's fish heater. 20 degrees. So we'll run with that. Now I've got my little bit of a test piece here. Now that's a little bracket that we'll get into a bit later on. It's pretty exciting actually what that little bracket is. Not for the fire truck build. For the FJ40 build. Now I've cleaned that in um, some watered down degreaser. It's a fairly clean piece of steel, so hopefully it'll make a good test piece. Right, eh? Into the solution. Right, eh? So there is a bit of a formula to it, so we don't want to um, go too crazy. If it's bubbling rapidly, we've obviously got too much current going on it. Yeah formula is this. Right, so it says uh, one amp for every 160 centimeters squared. So 160 centimeters squared. That's massive. So we'll sort of work that out and make it all happen. Right, so the test piece. It's been there for about 40 minutes. It says you can leave it up to an hour. But I'm just too excited to check it out. So um, turn all this off. Have a look, eh? Oh, look how shiny that is. Sweet. So we're actually going to try and uh, give it a bit of chrome. So it says give it a really, really good rinse. Just the demineralized water. Then into the Medex. I guess that's like a bit of an etching process. Back over here, give it another wash. Okay, then we're gonna go outside where it's been sitting out here. Let's give it a good shake. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Give it a really good shake. Get all those drips off it and we'll just hang it out in the sun. Now it says that we shouldn't really touch that for about four hours. So we'll leave it for four hours. Right, so that's the process. Seems to uh, a bit of time taken to set it all up. But... Um, yeah, good results. So, I'm actually going to try some bolts now. These are actually off the starter motor. We'll see how we go. We'll see how those bolts go. But pretty much, that's the process. And so far, with my first test piece, I'm super happy with it. Now, the most important part about all of this is preparation. There's a huge amount of preparation, more than I even realized. So preparation is the absolute key. Put in some rust remover. I've been using the Chemtools rust remover. Then give it a really, really good clean. Some water soluble degreaser. Give it a really good scrub down with that. Then buffed it all up with a wire wheel. Then again in the degreaser solution, washed it right off. Gave it a really good clean off. And you can tell just the way the water holds on it. If it's not beating, we're good to go. Chuck in the solution, happy days. Doesn't get much easier than that. So there's a fair bit involved in it all, but ultimately it is fairly easy once you've got it all set up. So we're gonna keep going and try to get as much stuff done as we possibly can. It's gonna be a long process, but we'll go from there. Righto, today's episode was pretty different. Nothing to really to do with 40 series Land Cruisers, except for that the fact is that this will give us what we need to continue our build on the fire truck and every build to come from here. I've just set it up fairly small at the moment, but once I figure out how all this works really well, I'll pretty much have my own little production line going. Thanks again for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. I'm very new at this. As I said, first time ever. This is not promoting anything. This is just showing you the next step in the 40 series build. Right, until next time, take care of yourselves.